Dr. King is in closer agreement with Mr. Thomas. We have the large mother craft. Uh, these can be tremendous size. Uh, they have a capability of, um, shall we say, tuning into uh, natural magnetic forces which do flow very fr freely through this galaxy and uh, transferring that into kinetic energy. The usual type of scout patrol vessel, uh, like uh, that, that in this little uh, model here, which, by the way, is made exactly to scale. This is a model of a scout patrol vessel, which is uh, about 32 and a half feet in diameter. Now, uh, this uh, uh, vessel here has three uh, propulsion units. One I won't mention at this time, it's too complex. Uh, the other, again, it's capable of tuning into the uh, natural flow of forces throughout the universe. But the third one is very interesting. Uh, as these vehicles operate for the most part uh, quite near to a planetary mass, such as Earth or another planet, they're able to reverse the flow of gravity. Uh, the space people know, by the way, that gravity has two poles, rather like a magnet. A uh, magnet has a north and a south pole. Gravity has a positive and negative pole. And they're able to reverse the flow of this gravity so that a planetary mass can repel the vehicle or attract it. Uh, this is... Uh, often the reason why some scout patrol vessels fly in a rather, uh, shall we say, um, uh, erratic uh, manner. This is an artist impression of the third satellite. On the top, there is a huge crystalline dome for collecting the sun's energies. At the bottom, there's a power matrix for transmitting the sun's energies after they have been conditioned by the enormous crystals within the craft. This next drawing gives you a rough idea of the position of the third satellite. You see the impression of the sun, the energy is being collected by the dome at the top and transmitted to Earth through the power matrix at the bottom.